you say are a couple daily things we can think about or do mm -hmm. to start reversing that aging process? Yeah. Well, we, we now know enough that you can definitely slow it down. Slow and we Yeah, we've had some breakthroughs that, that seem to reverse it as well, though they're still experimental. Um, but we're talking about one day being able to reverse the age of the body by 50, 75 percent. We do that in mice now. Mm. We can cure old age, blindness, and this kind of stuff. But importantly, what can we do now to stay alive till those technologies come mm -hmm. online five, ten years from now? So there, if there's one thing that I could say to everybody, if there was only one thing, it would be to eat less often. You've mentioned minimal alcohol, but how much does alcohol smoking actually affect lifespan? Do we have enough research on this? Well, we do on, on tobacco smoking. There's obviously, yes. it's very clear that's a decade off your life. And what's interesting is that what we're learning about these various things that you can do to hurt yourself or to protect yourself is that what's happening is that your body is aging at a different rate. So smokers, you can measure it, are older biologically than people who've never smoked. And that's why they look older too. What we're doing in the lab now is not just reprogramming and resetting the age of the eyes of those old mice, but the whole body. Crazy. We have a mouse called Lisa, who's our first test case, and she's having her age reversed right now. Have you been seeing like, she, so she had white hair or gray hair? Yeah, and frailty and sickness. Well, we'll see. It's in progress. The bones are like, yeah. But we're hopeful. We've, we've reprogrammed um, a middle-aged mouse and let it go for a year, and it seemed healthier. It didn't have any more cancer. If anything, it had less cancer. And people on, on a Mediterranean diet, which... I which think includes what? Knows, what are those? It. So it's, it's, it's a lot of plants. It's um, focusing on good fats, the avocado kind of an olive oil. You know, think Greek kind of food. Uh, a little bit of meat, but mostly fish. Mm -hmm. That's your Mediterranean. And a bit of red wine. So that's that. Uh, that, if you give that to people or tell them to eat it for a year, they will be younger at the end of that year than people who didn't switch. Age reversal is a little different. I don't think just by uh, avoiding sugar you're going to reverse your age. Otherwise, we'd have people living a thousand years. What we do know is that you can actually flip a switch and reset the body, at least a human cell or a mouse, to be about 50% younger, even more than that. But we can also take away aging. And we've de-aged those mouse brains that have gotten dementia, Alzheimer's. And guess what happens? What? They can learn again. No way. Really? Yeah, that's in the lab right now. We haven't published it, so I don't want to it's scoop myself. It's not peer-reviewed yet, yes. It's not peer-reviewed, um, but, but I can tell seeing... you what's happening. And we can also do this in the dish. We grow little brains uh, from human cells. I could I could make a mini uh, Lewis Howe brain Come on. in the lab. You can make a little brain? I could make brains. From, from what? Just a from. I'd take blood? some skin back to the lab. I could, what I would do is de-differentiate, which means put them back to a stem cell state. So make them age zero. Now that cell, will make millions of copies of itself, will have dishes of your cells, and then by applying the right genes and chemicals, I can make anything from those. What? You can I, make a brain. We do this every month in my lab. So you can see an actual, you can take my cells of my skin, put it in a, a test tube, and then... Yeah. It's a little plate like... And you can, how big can this brain actually get to? Pretty big. Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, a small it's like a P, a big P. Uh, but they think, they've got brain waves, we can measure the electrical activity. They think? Yeah, I think they no. might even dream at night. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but they definitely have brain waves. So plants need to survive just like we do. And those molecules, uh, they protect the animal and the plant. And when the plants get perceived adversity, let's take a, a grape vine, okay, that, that you know, make red wine out of. And I, you know, I'm the guy that said red wine is good for you and resveratrol, and that blew up 30% sales in red wine, <laughs> 2006. But uh, so let's take red wine. Before you pick the grape, you typically you dry out the vines, or you hope that there's not enough rain. Mm -hmm. And then the plants, the grapevine gets stressed out, um, not mentally stressed, but you know, it's fearful that it could die. So it starts making these what are called poly. Phenols. Mm -hmm. And a phenol is just a ring of carbon with some hydrogens on it. And poly, obviously more. So this resveratrol is two carbon rings with some little eight OHs, oxygen, hydrogen. They make a ton of it. And it's bottled in red wine. And that's why, one of the reasons why you probably have some health benefits when you right. drink red wine in moderation. Right. And when you take resveratrol as a supplement, it also has similar benefits. It's mm -hmm. found in clinical trials. Wow. So what in the supplemental form? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I take I've been taking resveratrol myself for over a decade now, uh, probably fourteen years. Is that what covers up the stitches? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Actually, people on the internet make fun of me. They say, you know, you've had work done. Right. right. 